Seafood Labeling Segment 2 covers FDA's current laws, regulations, and policies, and the FDA Seafood List. Standardized food regulations for seafood provide information defining a product's identity, container fill requirements, and sometimes the quality of the food. The examples include naming standards and other information for species, such as oysters, salmon, shrimp, and tuna. The common or usual name of a food, which may be a coined term, shall accurately identify or describe, in as simple and direct terms as possible, the basic nature of the food or its characterizing properties or ingredients. There are common or usual name regulations for Pacific Whiting, Bonito, King and Snow Crab Meat, and Greenland Turbot. Compliance Policy Guides, or CPGs, are guidance documents that provide instructions to our field staff or policy on processing, labeling, or any other matter that concerns a product. CPGs are decision-making tools used by field staff to guide their next steps when taking possible further regulatory action. The Caviar CPG describes the proper labeling for fish eggs, both sturgeon and non-sturgeon species. The Snapper Labeling CPG states that only the fish species, Lujanus campechanus, can be marketed as red snapper. Processed and or blended seafood products have a CPG that describes their proper labeling. Surimi is an example of a processed seafood product. FDA's policy for common or usual names for seafood sold in interstate commerce is found in CPG 540.750. It explains our policy for common or usual names as they relate to market names. See our website for compliance policy guides. Import alerts are product, firm, or country specific and describe known violations of FDA's laws and regulations. Although there are several alerts that involve seafood, we have two alerts specifically for seafood identity, misbranded seafood products and misbranded catfish. All seafood import alerts begin with the number 16 and are found on FDA's website. Let's move on to the seafood list. The Seafood List is FDA's guide to acceptable market names for seafood sold in interstate commerce. It contains over 1,800 vertebrate and invertebrate species commonly sold in the U.S. An estimated 90% of all seafood consumed in the U.S. is imported and new species are being introduced for sale on a regular basis. The FDA reviews all requests to add new species names to the seafood list to help ensure that the introduction of any new names is not false or misleading to consumers. FDA's Seafood List Guidance document contains information about the agency's policy for determining acceptable market names. If, after searching the seafood list, you do not find an acceptable market name for your particular new species, you can follow the guidance shown here to determine if a proposed name would be considered an acceptable market name. The flowchart in the Seafood List Guidance document works like a decision tree. The principles are designed to help guide you through the process of determining if a name is an acceptable market name for use in interstate commerce. This guidance webpage also provides contact information for submitting comments and questions to the agency regarding acceptable seafood names. On the left side of the webpage, you'll notice a Resources for You section with links to our most recent seafood list updates and our Seafood Economic Fraud page. For a new seafood species to be added to the list, the species must be either currently sold in the United States or have a strong potential for sale in the near future. The species must not be endangered, and it must not be prohibited by law from sale in interstate commerce. Here is the layout of the initial search page. You'll see a brief introduction to the list, as well as some of the items it contains. You'll find when the list was last updated and a link to the principles for evaluating the appropriateness of a proposed new seafood name. The list contains the species type, vertebrate or invertebrate, the acceptable market name, the common name provided by taxonomists, 
and the scientific or Latin name. The list also contains certain symbols to alert the reader of additional information specific to that species. An asterisk is placed next to an acceptable market name if a naming regulation exists, and a dagger is placed next to the common names that are prohibited by law. If there's any additional detailed information about a species on the list, the scientific name will be an active link. As an example, let's search for catfish. This shows a dagger next to a common name. That indicates that the use of the common name is prohibited by law. Now, we'll search for the name tuna. An asterisk next to the market name indicates that a regulation exists for the naming of that species. Click on the scientific name hyperlink to obtain additional information about any species. Let's click on the scientific name Thunus alalunga and take a look at its details page. The details page for each species provides the market name, specific regulation if applicable, the common name, and the scientific name. If there's additional information available for that species, you'll see active hyperlinks for items such as DNA data from testing, hazard information, and vernacular names. The hazard information, for instance, relates directly to Chapter 3 of the Fish and Fishery Products Hazards and Controls Guidance and provides information on potential species-related hazards. Now a short review quiz.